Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm going to give everybody a second to join us. Hi, good morning. Hello. Hey. I haven't done a periscope in a few days. I think I've been too busy. <laughs> I haven't had time. Good morning. Hi. I'm going to give everybody a second to jump on. Hey. How is your day going so far? Is it great? <laughs> I'm real tired. <laughs> Hello. I am Debbie and I am a mother who is crazy and I want to talk to you. Thank you for the hearts. And if you're watching the replay, you can also continue to tap the screen to show your love. And you can type, if you're new to Periscope, I had some friends asking me last night, what is Periscope? So you can interact. You can type to me and talk or ask questions. I love feedback. I love interacting with you on this beautiful North Carolina morning. I'm not driving. I am not moving. See, no moving scenery. <laughs> I'm still at the park. We're going to talk about ways to increase your water intake. I don't know if you feel like you're drinking enough water or not. So maybe you can kind of decide. Um, it's obviously a little bit different per person and your activity level. Most people say to drink half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're 100 pounds, you would drink 50 ounces. If you're 200 pounds, you would drink 100 ounces. I don't know that I'm exactly in that camp with hydration. It's so important uh, that I recommend for females having 9 to 12 minimum with a goal of more closer to 15. And really the easiest way I feel like to keep the math straight is just to have a cup of water per hour. So it's not like you can chug those nine cups at the very end of the day and really feel like you're actually being hydrated. So do you guys feel like you're staying hydrated? Like you drink enough water during the day? Let's hear from you. Type it on in. <laughs> I think everybody's still trying to wake up. I am too nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share, thumbs down, not even close. Coffee, no, coffee counts. Coffee is made with water, so we're going to count that, just like tea is made with water. And I'm really being serious. I'm not giving you like an easy out. I really think that that can count as a supplement to your water. So high five. That's awesome. One recommendation I have for getting more water into your life 80 ounces is great. That's 10 cups. Perfect. Yeah. I tried to pour a big water bottle. You like to chug it like medicine. I do that sometimes too, especially in the afternoons. Do you drink more if you're sick? I tend to drink the same, but it will definitely help flush all of that out. I think staying hydrated is super important. So I get water bottles that are really big. This is my favorite. It's thermos because it's leak proof. That's the best. <laughs> this one holds three cups. So what helps me is having a big water bottle so I have to fill it less often. I am a creature of laziness. And so I'm going to make sure that I only have to fill that a certain number of times a day. So three cups. I usually will drink five of these a day. I have a bigger one that holds four cups. So I do four of those a day. But I do one and a half gallons a day. Awesome. My goal is a gallon a day if I can get pretty close depending on if I exercised or not. I am thrilled to the moon. I fill up my water bottle as I go to bed so it's ready for me the night before. Now, I don't need ice cold water and everybody's different in that respect. But if you need ice, put ice in it at bedtime. It'll still be chilled when you wake up. And that way, I have it ready in the morning while I'm getting ready. I've made it part of my routine, part of my habit that I'm going to do this. And you can even consider making it into a game that you're not allowed to have your morning coffee until you've had your water, at least three cups. I try to start my day with three cups. Your organs need it. You've been in fasting mode all night. And so you want to make sure that you're starting your day with lots of water. So consider, oh, thanks for the hearts. Consider like, okay, no coffee until I chug it up and take it like medicine, like you were talking about or maybe you like to sip on it through the day. I do recommend having one cup per hour to stay on top of it, to stay on top of that hydration, to stay alert throughout the day. I personally am not a lemon water fan, but 
I'm, I like other people to drink it. I just, I don't want it. I like plain water, but lemon water is super good for you. Lemon has like superfood benefits. So absolutely flavor your water with lemon or orange or mint or cucumber or frozen berries. If you don't like the taste of water, you can kind of ease into it by infusing it in that way. And like you mentioned, there are great water apps. There's one called Waterlogged. So Waterlogged, which I think is kind of a cute one. And then there's another one that's free that's called Daily Water. And it's just a free app that's going to remind you to drink. If you don't want to get an app, set an alarm to go off every 60 minutes. That's your, that's your reminder of, I got to have a cup of water. And by the way, a cup of water is about four gulps. So I recommend nine ounces, nine ounces. <laughs> I apparently need more coffee. <laughs> uh, you need at least nine cups a day. Really, 12 cups a day is fabulous. And if you can get 15, so somewhere in the nine to 15 cups each day, those of you who are my nutrition clients, your goal is 15. If you're new to drinking water, nine is going to make you feel like you're drowning and you're going to have to go pee all day long. So I pee like a pregnant person all day long because <laughs> all I do is chug water. I'm not allowed to have other drinks until I've had all that water. And I can still have coffee. To who? What? <laughs> so another way to add water, we've talked about putting it by your bed at night so it's ready in the morning. Part of your new habit in the morning is to drink water. You can't have coffee until you've had at least three cups of water. You're going for nine to 15 cups a day. And there's the app, waterlogged or daily water, or you can just set an alarm that reminds you. And then after a few weeks, you won't need those alarms. You won't need those reminders. Another thing you can do if you have various water bottles is to write on them or put masking tape on them. And so at at each little bar, you're, ah, oh, thanks for the hearts. You're going to say by 9 a.m., by 12 p.m., by 3 p.m., by 6 p.m. And I do start trailing my water off at the end of the day because I don't want to have to get up and pee at night. <laughs> so I do try to have all of this water in me by like seven o'clock. I try to really cram it in so that I can sleep throughout the night. <laughs> but yeah, we did talk about how coffee is made with water, tea is made with water, and vegetables and fruits have water in them for crying out loud. So for those I kind of consider a supplement, I still want to drink the regular water and you can make your own flavored water. You're not going to make like crystal light or what are those little squirty things? I can't remember all those names. That's that's not good. That's not what I'm talking. I'm talking about actual orange slices, actual fruit. Um, and I also think it's helpful to increase your water intake by having, oh, the Mio. That's what it is. That stuff is so unnecessary. Don't buy that. Sorry if you work for that company. Ugh. <laughs> Another thing that's helpful for me is to keep it nearby. I, again, am so lazy that if it's even in another room, or maybe if you go to the office and you're like, oh, I left my water in the car, you're probably not going to go get it. So keep it nearby, have a big one so you don't have to fill it up all the time. I don't I don't buy any water bottles that are under 24 ounces. I refuse. <laughs> it just takes, I'm just too lazy. I want this to be as easy as possible for me. So I'm gonna make sure to keep it nearby. And another thing that you may not have thought of is using a straw. You may actually drink more water if you use a straw. Something so simple that you're like, of course. And you do want to make sure it's the temperature that you prefer. I like lukewarm water, which makes probably some of you feel very sick. My husband has to have ice cold water. My kids want ice cold water. So obviously you want to try to make it as as pleasing as possible. And I would love, those are that's my list. Okay, so I had my list of suggestions. How do you drink more water. A lot of you said that you may not drink enough, but you are drinking some. So what habits do you do now to increase your water intake? Because water can prevent those headaches. It removes those toxins. It's so good for you. And I think you can get addicted. I used to be a Mountain Dew addict and I'm not anymore. Yay. <laughs> so change is possible. And now if I don't get water first thing, my head starts to hurt and I actually feel like I'm a raisin, like I need to get plumped back up. So what suggestions do you guys have 
on the other side of this awesome Periscope broadcast. And while you're typing that in, by the way, make sure you're following me on all social media at Fit with Deb. I have lots of YouTube workouts and nutrition help, recipes, and then I have a great Facebook page where I give tips all throughout the day. And of course, Instagram, I love. It does become a habit if you stick with it. Yeah, it is hard to get when you're really busy. I've had those days where I am so busy. I really, I'm like, I don't even have time to get up to go get some water. It's really important. That's when those phone alarms, they're so annoying, but they really remind you like, all right, all right, I'll just get up. I'll take the 30 seconds and then keep the water next to me. And you just have to remind yourself with those alarms and have that straw, have that good flavor so you're craving it. Yeah, working out, is that's another good way to drink water. I usually drink about three more cups a day if I do work out. So, yeah, that's definitely a motivation. That's a good idea. What other ideas do you have about drinking more water during the day? I love these hearts. They're so delightful. Y'all are great. I think that's all the ideas I have. I'm getting ready to start a group workout and make these girls chug their water. <laughs> you don't want to get nauseous by going without. And you get bonus points if you eat your water throughout the day in the form of fruits and vegetables. And then, of course, plenty of coffee. I've talked about coffee before, but that is a good way to get your water in. I've got my Disney mug of coffee right now, drinking it black, not with creamer. But coffee has tons of benefits as well, which is a whole different periscope. But I'm going to jump off for now. I'm so glad that you joined me now. Now that we end this periscope, go drink water. Remember, one cup is just like four mouthfuls of water. That's easy. You can totally do that. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you watch the replay. If you missed this, you can still give hearts as you watch the replay. And I will connect with you on all forms of social media today. Okay? Message me with your questions, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!